Let's talk about actually carrying and using the double tap personal protection pistol. This gun is so slim, so easy to carry, that it's actually meant to be carried in a pocket. Unlike other firearms, which can be carried in a pocket, that was part of the original design intention, and that's one of the reasons it's so slim. Now, obviously, I don't recommend carrying a firearm with a trigger exposed inside of a pocket. When it's loaded, we need to have some form of holster around it in order to make sure we're doing everything we can to be able to reach in, grab the firearm, and then extract it from the pocket and the holster. When you do that, you want to make sure that you have some type of holster design that allows you to obviously break up the outline of the firearm. It's going to be clear that something's in your pocket, but it shouldn't be clear that it's an actual firearm, and allow you to reach in, get a hold of the firearm itself, and then come up while the holster is staying in the pocket. And that's really the trick of a properly designed pocket holster. Now, obviously, we can go to a rear pocket as well. That's a little harder to find the exact type of holster that's going to stay in the pocket because the design of the front pocket makes it very easy to strip that holster against the back of it. You have to work on your draw stroke assisting when you go to a back pocket. Now when we go to the back pocket, we have to remember that the design of the holster may not facilitate it being stripped from the gun as much, and that's going to be part of that draw stroke. So we could either pull backwards, or it may be more, more efficient to pull forward, use the front edge of that pocket to help strip the holster as we come up into either our ready position or, of course, drive right out into our shooting position. So we can see that the slim nature of the double tap allows front or back pocket carry. Now let's go to the range and actually look at how we shoot and reload the double tap pistol. So as we discussed, one of the main advantages of the double tap pistol is that it's very carryable. We can carry it in a front pocket, we carry it in a rear pocket, we carry it inside the waistband, in a pouch, in a bag, in a day timer. Its flat design means that it's very easy to carry. Now the flat design also means that because of the powerful nature of the cartridge, particularly in the 45 ACP caliber double tap, it's not a plinker. This is a stout firearm. It's designed to be carried in a very low profile way to be able to even be drawn from a position that really is completely non-threatening, where right now my hand is on the gun, but if someone were arguing with me and I were trying to calm them down, trying to get out of a situation, they certainly wouldn't know that my hand was on a very powerful two-shot 45 caliber handgun. But if the situation escalated and I needed to present that handgun, I could come out of the pocket, get into a shooting position either in retention or if I created space, drive out and fire my two shots. Now again, because of the thin nature of this firearm and because of the nature of the alloy frame, this is not something that you're going to come out and shoot 200 rounds a day with. I'm an experienced shooter. I certainly have fired plenty of 45 caliber handguns and I've fired plenty of double action handguns. I've fired plenty of subcompact handguns. And yet, when I fire this gun, even with the ported barrel in place, I'm going to feel the recoil. And this is something that's really important to understand about this gun. Double tap doesn't expect people to go out and fire hundreds of rounds in practice. This is a last ditch, close quarters defensive firearm designed for you to be able to fire two shots quickly to defend yourself in a worst case scenario. Of course, at this point, the gun is unloaded. I need to open it up. I need to remove these spent rounds. And of course, I do have two rounds that I carry on board. Now, in addition to the on board storage of two rounds that I can reload from very quickly and easily, I can close that. I don't even need to close the trap door. I can just go right into shooting. Or I can remove the empty fired brass and reload from a pocket. I can come in and simply reload by hand. And this isn't something that I need to look at to be able to do. Right? Obviously, if I am in the dark, if I'm watching for a threat, if I'm taking care of family members, if I'm looking for cover, looking for some place to hide, I can feel these very large chambers in the double barrel design, close the gun, and again, get right back to shooting. Now, even with the ported model and just firing six shots, I absolutely feel that firing in my hand. And you can probably see that the hand is a little bit red. This isn't a problem. This is the way the gun is designed. It's incredibly lightweight, it's incredibly slim, and it's made to be carried in a pocket holster concealed, either the front pocket or the back pocket. It's not a plinker, but it is a very capable and potent last-ditch close-quarters defensive gun.